Hello, this video will cover how to use eGlass Fusion's newest feature, Media Play. With Media Play, you'll be able to import any form of digital media you would like and bring it into eGlass Fusion. Not only can you bring in any type of digital media, but you can also have full background removal and transparency settings to allow you to annotate with a pen on the eGlass. But let's get right into it and launch eGlass Fusion. Media Play works by capturing a window that you have open and then projecting it inside of eGlass Fusion. Think of it like how you would share your screen on an online conferencing application. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the window you want to pull up isn't minimized. Then to launch Media Play, all you have to do is click Media Play down here on the bottom toolbar and then a window will pop up. From there, just click on the window that you want to project, it can be a web browser, YouTube, PowerPoint, PDF, etc. As long as it's opened in a window, you can bring it in. Let's say that I'm a math teacher and I have a lesson already built on Google Slides. All I have to do is click the window and then press OK. I can now resize the window as well as reposition it to my liking. And I also have full control of my Google Slides within eGlass Fusion. To activate control mode, all I need to do is click this little desktop icon. Now that I'm in control mode, it's just like if I normally had the window open. I can edit the PowerPoint, click through it, even present it. To stop controlling your window, simply click off of it and now you can reposition and adjust the size again. You can also access all of the chameleon tools to make the media play content you bring in transparent. You can access this tool by clicking the little cogs located right next to the control mode button. First of all, you can check remove background to make the image transparent so you can annotate directly on the eGlass with real ink. You can also change the color of which the software removes as well as adjust the sensitivity to remove more or less of the colors that are similar to the selected remove background color. And you can also invert the colors to make the media best stand out against your background. Since I was able to remove my background, I can now annotate directly on the eGlass with real ink. If you find that you're having trouble with removing the background, then try to adjust the transparency instead with this little slider. If the media is not transparent enough to be able to annotate behind it, don't worry, you can still use the digital annotations tool, which you can pull up by pressing annotate on the toolbar. And now, with my image semi-transparent, you may or may not be able to see my physical annotations, but I can always annotate digitally. If you want to learn more about Chameleon and how to use all of these background removal and transparency settings, make sure to check out our Matt Chameleon tutorial on our eGlass Academy. Remember, the power of Media Play comes from the ability to access any open window you have on your computer and bring it into eGlass Fusion. The list is truly endless. YouTube, Google Docs, Google Slides, Smart Notebook, PDF, PowerPoints, and Excel are only a few examples of media that you can bring in. As long as you can view the media in a window, you can bring it into eGlass Fusion with Media Play. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check out our eGlass setup videos and other software tutorial videos located at eGlass.io forward slash academy or email us with any questions you might have at hey at eGlass.io.